All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of James's Minecraft Journal. Uh, this should be episode 120, I think. And yes, we'll just enjoy the sunset uh, to start the episode off. As you can see, we are at the well, kind of my place where I gather stuff without fear of ruining the environment. Because uh, usually I I like I don't like to uh, you know chop down too many trees or dig too many pits or whatever. But as you can see with this mountain, I have just obliterated it by getting rid of all the sand. See, so yeah, this is where I get my. Uh, a lot of my resources from, including clay. Uh, this is where we also fought the weather back in episode 101, I think it was, or 102, or, or something like that. Uh, we fought the weather just over there. Um, but yeah, I've been playing on this world a lot off camera, as this episode will demonstrate. And I just, I guess I got a few things to show. Uh, we're doing this, starting this at night, just for the wow factor or the challenge factor you could say uh, and yeah so as you can see we've got beacon over there uh, it is haste too it doesn't show up at the minute because I'm not in range and um, but yeah this is where I get a lot of my resources so as you know I, I said a few episodes ago I don't really need to go caving all that much anymore and the reason for this is haste 2 plus efficiency 5 plus level 10 equals lots of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I've gathered a lot of resources. As you can see, I've even got coal about. Uh, I've got lapis, iron, gold, diamonds, and specifically we have got two full stacks of diamond ore, which is quite fantastic. Now you will notice that if you go back to the start of the episode, that that desert uh, temple had wool for the orange pattern on the side of it and that signifies that that is 1.7 terrain. Now the reason I'm digging over here is because this has got all the new blocks that I really would like. So things like granite, diorite, uh, andesite, yep andesite right here. So this is 1.8 terrain whereas back in the area where I started the episode off that was 1.7 terrain so none of this. So that's why we're way over here. We've we've moved a bit. We're on the other side of the beacon now so the place I was just at is just over there. Beacon's there. And uh, we've got jungle over here, which is pretty cool. This is an, it's not the first jungle I found. I'll be getting like jungle wood and stuff out of there. There might be a temple. I really want to find a jungle temple. Speaking of temples, we got uh 1.8 a desert temple over here, which I'm just gonna go check out. Uh, you can tell it's 1.8 because on the temple there's clay instead of wool. I believe that's a 1.8 change. Um, so yeah, let's head in. I can't die here because I got two stacks of diamond blocks on me. Don't think anyone's in here. Should I risk it? Let's go for it. Ah, oh, you see this? I'm not bad at MLGs. I just seem to be bad at them on a camera. It's probably with the extra lag and stuff. What have we got here? We got gold. Uh, I'm gonna leave them just for the sake of it. Got iron. Got some gold. That's good. Ooh, got three diamonds. Diamond horse armor. Pretty good. And finally, nothing. Okay, that concludes our search of the temple. I've now got to get back up and we will head back over to the main base and I will set up the diamonds for... Well, we're going to fortune three them and we'll see how much we get. Okay, so this is uh, the diamonds that we've got. All 128 of them. Um, and we're just going to Fortune 3 them. Now, I, I don't know the exact s statistics about Fortune 3. I understand that it's the third level of Fortune, so obviously you've got more of a chance of getting more of the ore you dig with Fortune 3 than you do with Fortune 2, and likewise that with Fortune 1. But I'm pretty convinced that 2 is the average. Like, you're pro pro most likely going to get 2. So, out of two stacks of diamond ore, we should hopefully end up with four stacks of diamonds. Um, I'll be happy with anything over that. Of course, we've got three diamonds already, so we better better remember that. Um, I'll be happy with anything over four stacks. Um, anything under that will be a little disappointed, but it doesn't matter. They're diamonds. It's what we, what we need, and we'll see how many we get.
that has to be one of my favourite things to do in Minecraft, along with caving, but that, that's just so satisfying. Uh, Alright, so we got, ooh, we got four and a half stacks of diamonds, which, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I said I'd be happy with anything over four stacks, and I am, uh, I'm happy with that outcome. Uh, so that's good, uh, we got a lot of uh, diamonds. Now, like I said in a previous episode, I don't... I gen generally don't use diamonds for all that much, just picks, shovels and uh, axes and maybe the occasional sword. Uh, 24 diamonds for armor is quite a lot, so <laughs> I just use uh, use mob armor. Speaking of mob armor, uh, you might think this is a bow I enchanted. Um, well actually, it is several skeleton bows combined. Every attribute you can see there it was part of a skeleton bow. That I combined, so it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not the most OP thing ever, but the thing I recycled it from skeletons. I'm, I'm, I think that's pretty cool. And obviously here I've got some pretty cool, cool armor that I got from mobs. Uh, I don't think that was from a mob somehow, but whatever. <laughs> uh, and also, I got. Um, I've not died much lately, but my last death came to a skeleton carrying that. So yeah, <laughs> skeletons have OP stuff. So, you might remember in the last episode I was working on the city and specifically a replica of uh, St. Peter's Basilica, a cathedral, that's that's what I, we were working on. Well, um, I know this is a let's play, I know I'm supposed to play on camera kind of thing, but think about it, how much of this wall did I actually build on camera? Uh, but yeah, I've got confession. I may have done so much off camera that it's not even funny. Yep, here we are. So, last episode, we had got the pillars up. I don't think we got the roof on even, and we're just kind of working on this entrance bit. And now, bam, we've got... A not finished building, I hasten to add, but uh, we've got a building there nonetheless. So, I'm going to explain briefly uh, the features of this and like the idea behind everything in that. So first of all, obviously we had the uh, diorite pillars and that. I decided for the covering to use brick, uh, which is a pain in the neck to get, you know, because you've got to go and dig up the, uh, go to a swamp or go to a river and dig up a bunch of clay and then you've got to combine it and then take it down again and then smelt it and then combine it again. Yeah, it was a pain, but I decided to go with brick and I quite like that. Um, what else is there? There's rail on the top and I think generally it looks quite good. So that's the repli that's to replicate the, the front of St. Peter's Basilica, which has this kind of uh, ring with... Um, these pillars and that, and I, I looked at many photos closely of it, and there's that there's like nothing behind these. It's just pillars. It's like a, a real a real forum and that. I don't think there's a fountain in the middle, but I'm quite happy with how this looks. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. And now we come to the steps. These are not really a replica, or this is not to replicate anything. This is just my own ideas now. To be honest, uh, we've got a bit of a a water feature here which I quite like. We've got the stairs going up onto regular andesite flanked by polished granite. Uh, inside we've got a load of mobs and a spider that seems to be on drugs because he's moving so fast. Um, we've got... yeah, not, not much of the, uh, the interior is done. It's, I've mainly been working on the exterior. I should add that part of the reason I did all this off camera is because I know back in the early days of this LP, and certainly in, in other LPs I've done, I've had the habit of saying, right, today we're going to build this. And I build very little of it on camera and end up just finishing it off camera. And that's because I find it hard to like process ideas and work on them. And I've, I've spent hours on this, like days even, uh, just planning the finer details. I've There's stuff I've put in and then taken down. Like the towers up there, they were a lot thicker, but then I didn't like them, so I took them down and... I've just been trying to edit it and make it look semi-decent. Again, I don't claim to be a, an amazing builder, but whatever. Um, up the top there we've got a cross. I, I've put a lot of crosses uh, on this build simply because I um, 
I don't think there's really any any other uh, Christian symbol that's um, necessarily appropriate to put on it in the sense that, you, for example, a fish, a fish, um, Necaris, I think is its name is in Greek. You don't see many of that, uh, many of those symbols on uh, cathedrals or whatnot. The stained glass windows kind of, I like it, but it was it didn't really come out the way I wanted it. I wanted it to be more like a, a Celtic cross, which if you don't know what that is, that's uh, originates from the Celtic, the ancient Celtic church in Scotland, and the cross basically has a circle around the cross bit. But obviously that doesn't look like a cross, it looks more like a, I know. It kind of reminds me of a communist symbol for some reason, but I'm probably just being immature. Let's kill this guy. Don't explode. Thank you. Um, so there's that. Let's go inside. That skeleton over there is not real, so we can safely ignore him. I've not got the stained glass windows done at this lower floor, but we will have them done in a minute. Would you guys just quit already? I'm trying to make a video. Don't spam. Don't spam. Alright, there we go. Um, <laughs> you stupid thing. Anyway, just ignore him. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, I've got the upper stained glass windows done. Um, I've just used black and green for them all. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing, but I, I like it. I think it's a nice contrast. Uh, we've got the backing here. As you can see, I've got the roof, or most of the roof done in... A brick as well which again was a pain to gather and I was going to put an arch up here and I did make an arch but I was not happy with it so I took it down I'm gonna make another attempt at building an arch it's quite tall and it is so tall actually it goes above the height of the wall and at first I was kind of bothered about that I was like you know that's not very city like but I think to some extent it actually is I remember on one holiday I went on to Derry or London Derry, for those who prefer to call it that. Um, the the old city walls go down the the old city, and I remember a lot of the buildings in that city actually rose above the city walls. And I thought, hey, that's that's all right. I don't mind if 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 some of the buildings um, are taller than the walls here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with with that. Our goal today is to work a bit more on the inside. So. I've already got materials here. I actually gathered these a wee while ago, maybe over a week ago, but I never got around to actually laying them down. So we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, let's see, we need that. Where's the carpet? There's the carpet. Let's take that just for good measure. So I'm not entirely sure what materials we're going to be using for the inside. I like the... One thing I do like is the texture of the windows. Let's, I guess, just go outside and have a brief look at them, that was kind of bad of me. Um, so if you see here, the windows are kind of like indent, they're kind of like, I know that one's smaller but just ignore it, I, I prefer it that way because that one up there is slightly smaller, it's kind of in line with the tower anyway so that's my justification for doing that. Um, as you can see they're kind of indent a bit and it gives a nice effect outside but it also, I think, gives a, a decent effect inside, which I'm quite happy with. And then we can add stained glass to them. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do the floor, except I've decided we're going to try and do the same design that I did for the storehouse on the RSG server. So if you don't know, uh, I built a storehouse where we can put excess items, surplus items, I should say, and various other things and it's free for people to go and, and use and the flooring I did was uh, consisted of a layer of glowing pumpkins or I guess you could use glowstone but I use glowing pumpkins for some reason probably easier to get then we put a layer of carpet on the top uh, and obviously this, this is obviously a common thing you know I'm sure many many people know about this trick but I, I it's one that I specifically like and we're going to use red carpet because that kind of has the significance of, I know, kind of, I I think it, not royalty, but you know what I mean, it's like, it's grand kind of thing, and, and, and this is a, a cathedral, and um, I know a lot of uh, Christians have a problem with churches which are, uh, or church buildings which are, you know, 
grand, they've got a lot of gold about them and that, but I know, this is this is Minecraft, so we're, we're, our aim here is to decorate and try and impress. I really wonder what was on his bow, like seriously, if that was like power 5, flame 1, and I had the opportunity of getting it, I'm very, very disappointed. Um, we need to make some more carpet because I'm running out already. So I'm going to be calling this the cathedral. Uh, and I'll just explain the reason for that uh, briefly. So basically, in the Western world, uh, we have a tendency of... Well, the word church for us means the building. The building where Christians go and worship. So if you say, oh, that church is grand, you know, you obviously look at the building and think you think it's a grand building. Or they're going to church, they're going to the, ch uh, the building where... Christians worship. Uh, and I'm calling this the cathedral as opposed to the church because um, the word church, a, a lot of people will say, is does not actually mean you know the building, or it did not originally mean the building that believers worship in. Um, the word church, or oh, uh, I think, is translated in Greek as ecclesia, and that is found throughout the New Testament of the Bible and in when it's used in in this way it's not referring to a building but a group of people uh, it has its foundations in ancient Greek language referring to an assembly of people um, but in the New Testament it's used to refer to the the people the people that believe as opposed to where they believe because obviously there was no such thing as a church, as in a building, um, because the early believers uh, believed illegally in the Roman Empire, where it was illegal to to worship anyone but the empire, uh, not the empire, the emperor, unless you were a Jew, but that's another story. Um, so obviously, since it was unlawful to do such a thing, uh, or to believe such a thing, there wasn't exactly going to be a church building in the way that we understand it, because obviously in the Western world today, we've got our churches in the middle of the community, or, or, or certainly that's the way we've got it through the parish system in Scotland. I'm not sure about North America or the rest of Europe, but in the parish system in Scotland, there's a church and there's a community around it. And obviously in the uh, New Testament era, so this would be around the first century AD, um, there was none of these buildings because it was illegal to worship uh, God uh, in this way. And so the believers had to meet in secret in people's houses and various other places. And therefore, the word church, or ecclesia as it was, I think it's ecclesia, I'm probably messing this up. I'm, I, I looked up beforehand and I'm pretty sure this is what, uh, this is what it means. So... That's just basically to demonstrate that the word church was originally, it originally did not mean the building. It was the, the people. And that's why I'm going to call this the cathedral, is just to, to, to respect that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the joys of learning theology at uni. <laughs> you get uh, interesting lectures such as that. It's turning night. This guy still hasn't awoken from his slumber. Uh, and I guess I'll finish the rest off camera and um, we'll continue with the interior. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to add another layer of diorite uh, to the windows and see how that looks. Um, do we have, we don't have, <laughs> typical, we don't have any spare slabs, well we do have spare slabs but I don't have them with me. We'll see how that looks. Um... Actually, let's add two layers, just just to see if that makes the windows stand out that wee bit more. Uh, if we can just do that, uh, I think that might I think that might look good personally. Uh, let's we can add it here as well. Well, add, well we're we're doing the polished variety. Uh, we've I don't think we've used regular diorite and any part of the build so I'll just keep it polished um, I really like these these blocks uh, I was gonna say new blocks but they've been in the game for a while now they just add a bit of 
I know it's it, they're grand blocks. They're 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 they add a polished texture, which I know it's just stating the obvious because that's what they're called. But I know they they just make things look really grand, if you like. Uh, oops, I think that looks all right. Uh, obviously, you won't be seeing any of this bottom bit or that crater where there used to be a lava pool. I'm pretty sure or any of that, because that will all be covered over. Um, I'm thinking that we could use... Hmm, I'm thinking of using gold blocks. Can we actually place anything on this guy? No, we can't. What an idiot. Uh, I'm thinking of using gold blocks down the... well, flanking the... Um, the, the sides of this, this walkway here. And the same with this walkway, and in the middle, we can... I know I say gold blocks and I'm placing polished diorite, but I'm just doing that to see how that looks, because I think polished diorite might be an option as well. And I th I'm thinking in the middle we can continue the water feature. Um, and then the seats, the pews as they're called, will be on the outside of the walkways. So I'm thinking something like this maybe? I was kind of watching to see if this guy would move, but he doesn't, he's just completely frozen. Um, yeah, and then we'll have water there, although it'll all be source blocks. I think that might be quite good. White, yeah, I'm not sure about the diorite. I think we're going to use uh, gold blocks instead. I'm really not sure about the stairs. See, we use stone brick here, but I, d I don't really... I think spruce, maybe? I think we might use use uh, wood, spruce wood, for the flooring here. Um, similar to the spruce wood we used out there. Eh, spruce looks alright. Can we add a design on the sides, maybe? Um, we could better take that away. Although, again, I'll do probably do most of this on oh, off camera. As you can see, I'm having trouble formulating uh, ideas. I don't know why. It's just I think a lot of YouTubers have this problem. It's just like you know, talking and thinking at the same time. Um. I'm not really sure to be honest. It doesn't really make it stand out or anything like that. Maybe, hmm, uh, maybe. You never know. Oh, you know what we should do? We should use um, chiseled stone bricks. See how they look. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to like them either. It's slightly. It's a different texture. It's not smooth. That might that might help the the case of the st the spruce stairs. Mm, yeah, I think I like that better. Just slightly. I'll probably chop and change it as I've chopped and changed this build a lot. So, here we are on top of the cathedral at Y114. Um, just to give you a reference of how unrealistic Minecraft is, that this would be the top, the summit of some mountain peaks. And here we are at the top of one of my builds. And in real life, you would never get uh, a cathedral as tall as, for example, Mount Everest. But anyway, who cares if Minecraft's unrealistic? It's great. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, I'm going to continue with this build. It's, I, I'm really happy with how it's going so far. Um, and hopefully we can get it close to finished. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment and... Wait a sec, when did that become my outro? You guys are free to choose what to do after this video ends, but regardless of what you choose to do, I will be back with another survival Minecraft episode soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching. Bye.